Passive income can be a great way to help you generate extra cash flow as you pursue your primary job and even tide you over if you suddenly become unemployed or even if you voluntarily take time away from work. In fact, building a solid stream of passive income is one of the most important ways to attain financial freedom. Here's how you can make passive income with $1,000. Number seven, home-based online store. Similar to websites like eBay, many buying and selling groups on Facebook and Instagram are helping countless people in setting up their own online store. But before you make a social media account for your resale business, try figuring out what type of merchandise you'd want to sell. For instance, if you're into fashion, you can sell quality outfits and accessories. Or if you're a sports fanatic, your online store can consist of various types of sports memorabilia, trading cards, or sports gear. It's all about finding out what works for you while taking certain factors into consideration, such as availability of products, ease of storage, and profit margin. Build your inventory through local stores and sales, and try to go slow in the beginning so that you have an idea about what sells quickly and what isn't in demand. Remember to take great photos and price your products correctly before setting up shipping and putting your marketing plan into action. As a beginner, Starting an online reselling space for pre-loved items is one of the best, if not the absolute best business ideas out there. Number six, starting a YouTube channel. It's no surprise that YouTube, being the revolutionary user-generated video blogging site, has transformed the online landscape forever. In the past two to three years alone, we've seen countless YouTubers gaining popularity and a surge in subscriber count, which has earned them a ton of money. So, this era offers the perfect opportunity for you to start a YouTube channel of your own. It's not as technical as people assume. You just need to ensure that your content is either entertaining or educating for the audiences. It should also be unique so that it sets you apart from the countless other YouTubers competing on the platform. Another tip for growing your channel's worth on the platform is to focus your videos on a specific niche in order to build a loyal audience. Some of the top channel ideas include motivational channels or tutorial channels where you can give tutorials for anything you're good at, such as makeup, cooking, or even coding tutorials. You can also start a gaming clip channel if that's your thing. All in all, the options on YouTube are endless. You just need to make sure you pick a niche that resonates with you, that you're good at, and something that's engaging enough for your audience. Number five, real estate investment trust. If your only experience investing in property involves paying your home's monthly mortgage, you might want to consider expanding your real estate portfolio. After all, real estate is one of the most powerful wealth building tools and is often considered the best investment. But even if you're not ready to take a major risk as an accredited investor, you can still take advantage of real estate investments through REITs or real estate investment trusts, which are among the best options to consider when it comes to safe investments with high returns. A real estate investment trust can be best described as a company that owns and usually manages income-generating real estate or assets associated with it, which includes apartment buildings, office buildings, shopping malls, resorts, hotels, and warehouses. Turning to REITs is an excellent way to not only gain significant returns, but also add depth to your investment portfolio. Number four, rental income. Another common proven way to start a passive income stream through real estate is investing in rental properties. Besides bringing in a steady monthly income, a rental property can easily appreciate over time. But for that, you'll have to keep a few factors in mind. Firstly, of course, the location, since it not only determines how much your rental property will increase in value, but also decides how quickly you'll rent the property to a long-term client. Other factors to consider include rental rates, state and local taxes, the state of the housing market, as well as the appreciation potential. Rental investment is best suited for buy and hold investors who are seeking to grow their wealth by taking advantage of markets where home prices remain low while the price growth is quite strong. If you're interested in a property located in a highly trafficked tourist area, investing in short term vacation rentals would be a better option, especially for building up a passive income stream. One of the best things about the vacation rental market is that you don't even need to own the property to generate sufficient cash flow. Simply start by building networks and links in pre-existing rental businesses in your area, or the tourist hotbed where your property is located. Number three, affiliate marketing. 
With affiliate marketing, website owners or content creators promote a third party's product or service by including its link on their website or social media platform, thus becoming the third party's affiliate. When a visitor clicks on the link and purchases the product or service from the platform, the site or blog owner earns a commission. This method of generating income is considered passive due to the fact that you can make big bucks just by adding a link to your site or social media account, provided that you can generate sufficient traffic and audience engagement. Once you grow your following or have a more lucrative niche such as tech, fitness, or financial services, affiliate marketing can be extremely profitable for you. Today, Amazon is definitely considered the most renowned affiliate marketer, but sites like eBay, Awin, and ShareASale are considerable too, besides top social media platforms such as Instagram and TikTok where products are being promoted on an everyday basis. Affiliate marketing can also include growing an email list to draw attention to your website or otherwise direct users to products and services that you're promoting. Number two, selling information products. This popular strategy of passive income involves selling an information product such as an ebook, a podcast, or an audio or video course, which can be distributed and sold through well known platforms like Udemy, Coursera, and Skillshare. Information products make an excellent foundation for a passive income stream since you make money easily after the initial time outlay and kick back while cash rolls from the sales of your product. That said, it's crucial to note that your product must be exceptional and it must stand out since the information product market is already quite saturated. So you'll have to build a strong platform, market your products well, and plan ahead for more products if you want to make money that lasts. And number one, investing in stocks and shares. It's no surprise that in recent years, momentum within the stock market has remained a subject of attention all around the world. Despite being slightly unpredictable, Stocks are teeming with potential, and hence, continue to attract plenty of investors. Whether your strategy is based on the short-term potential of stocks or their long-term profits, it's crucial to pick only the industry-leading ones that are worth investing in. For beginners, it's also recommended to follow the diversification principle, which involves allocating exposure to all major spaces while building a mutual fund portfolio or exchange-traded fund, or ETF. A well-diversified portfolio that includes assets other than stocks will ensure when part of your portfolio takes a hit, the part will remain stable. A rule of thumb, do not allocate more than 5-10% to to one major investment sector. It's also necessary to comprehend the investment you're making, and one of the best ways to do this is to build a diversified portfolio of mutual funds. If you plan on investing in individual stocks, Make sure to understand each company those stocks represent before you go ahead with your investment plan. Develop a plan of action and proactively determine where you are in the investment cycle, what your goals are, and how you plan on reaching there. Make sure you understand your investment strategy. And in case you don't feel qualified to do all this, you can always hire a trustworthy financial advisor or planner. That's a wrap for Passive Income Ideas with $1,000. Thank you for watching.